there we go, there we go. It's Diamond Painting on the Spur. Um, did not, oh, you know what I need? I need my microphone, people. Hold on. Look at this, she's tangled up like, what happens with the wires? Do you guys have the same thing that just the wires go everywhere when you're not looking? Uh, okay. I guess I'll just wait till a few of you show up in the room and we'll see what happens and what don't happen. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to set up and diamond paint. Oh, I cannot believe <laughs> I'm actually getting somewhere. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. It's really, really weird. Um, glare, 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 glare. Sorry, John's coming in from walking the dogs, and they are having a smelly, wet dog day. Only on my, oh, hi, honey. I'm just telling everybody about your smelly, wet dog day. Nobody's here yet, though. It's okay. Oh, great. Well, you know what that means, people. Let's see. I guess I'll just wait till somebody shows up in the room. Be interesting to see. Anybody here? Anybody? Anybody? Nope. No one so far. Well, I'm just going to paint. <laughs> I'm just going to. Or dabble, or whatever we call this. I know we call it diamond painting, but I just... I cannot believe I'm on my second one. Dusty! No! Holy shit, girl, where have you been? Oh my god, hi! I am streaming, Dusty. I'm making a fool out of myself for the whole freaking planet. Can you believe it? Oh, how are you? Oh, my God. You should hear my heart right now. I'm so heart happy to see you. Okay, tell me everything. What you've been up to? Talk to me, puppet. Talk to me. I cannot believe it. I'm doing diamond painting, Dusty. I, I got, I'm so happy you're streaming. Thank you. Thank you, baby girl. Thank you. I hope you got your Christmas card. I sent it to the same address that I had from last year. Um, <laughs> from the post, you may get it in time for Valentine's. I don't know. It's a, it's a hot mess, but I hope you got it. I have missed you so much, too. I really have. It has been a horrendous year. But it's all gone now. It's all gone now. It's time to start anew. And um, we had an extreme. I don't have it yet, but I'm at the same address. Okay. It's on its way. It should be there. It should be there any day. I mean, you know, I sent Connie one and uh, Connie in Canada. And she got it yesterday. I mailed these bitches in November. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was like, no. God, I might as well have hired a horse and carriage and delivered the stupid things myself. I was so mad. But, you know, everything's COVID, COVID. Blame it on COVID. That's it. So I got nothing to complain about. I got nothing. Hold on. I got to take a sip of coffee. I got toffee coffee, girl. I know. Mm. And it tastes so good. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, because it's really kind of gray and icky and rainy out and kind of cold. So the coffee just tastes even better. Even better. Anyway, so I just started doing this diamond painting. <laughs> Have you done a diamond painting yet? Have you... Have you gotten hooked on this stuff yet? It's like crack. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so. Okay. Now I'm trying to do one and be clean about it, you know, without using the cursey words. Because the other one I did, this is my second one. And um, I haven't killed anybody yet. 
So, so that's good, right? I think. Um, I just started streaming. Literally, you were like my second stream. The first one I crashed and burned because I didn't know what I was doing. And, you know, I hit the wrong button and the whole thing went to crap. But um, <clears throat> I think I got a grip on it. You know, I just need to not touch stuff. Oh, God, yes, I got my first ones for Christmas. No. What one did you, are you doing like one of those big, massive honker ones? Or are you going to do like, I'm doing a smaller one. This one that I'm working on, I'll show you. Um, matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to show you. Hold on. I'll show you a picture on my phone because it, it took a better picture of the thumbnail. Because the thumbnail on this thing's... Um, how can I say it sucks? Yeah, it sucks. Okay. Anyway, hold on. I got all these pictures today from the election. Oh, my God. It was such a big deal. Okay. Can you see it? It's the beach with doors that open to the beach. Isn't that cool? <sighs> oh, my. You've done 10 by now. I hate you. I hate you. Really, girl? Really, girl? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you my one. Hold on. Let me put my crap aside. Because what I've been doing, I got one of those uh, giant mouse pads. That is so pretty. I hope it's pretty. It's got really dull colors, but I'm thinking these colors are kind of about the doors and the bright colors will come, you know, when I get the, the ocean and the sun part. Let me show you the one I did and don't laugh at it because it's not perfect. Okay. I know I'm using my gift card to like, I've never, I've never done a square before and squares are kind of tricky. Nobody has given me any help or any warning or nothing. I mean, nothing. Okay. I'll show you what I'm doing. This is the one I finished. Ta-da! Okay, let me get it in frame. It's a heart tree. And it didn't turn out cool. And you know what I used on it? I can show you. You're going to love these things. Hold on. Okay. Okay. My girlfriend sent me a bunch of these little beads. Can you see them? Are they, they're like super, hold on. Let me just turn up the light a little bit. It's, this light is hot. Um, see, they're, they're, they're real sparkly. They're for your nails. You know, you put them on your nails. And she gave me four of them. She gave me blue. There, it might be able to actually show better like that. And green and white and pink. And I don't wear these on my nails because, quite frankly, I think I'm too neurotic. I don't think I can do it. They bug me. They catch on everything. So guess what I did? Look, I put them in here. Can you see them? You see? Right? Like, right? Look right there. See? I scattered them all in. And they stuck. They did it. They stuck. And guess what? They're super cheap. They're not even. See, I mixed in the green. And I, I mean, it was like, holy crap. I know. Aren't they cool? So um, I did one for you for the dog shelter. I just have to seal it. Okay. You send it whenever you want to, sweetheart. Um, the dog shelter is still happening. But because of COVID, they're waiting um, to open. So we're not under any pressure, but it's going to happen. And then, are you ready? <laughs> you get to see this. I just did an unboxing of it. You're going to crack up. Okay, you know how David is always a smart ass and he makes fun of the way I decorate, right? My kid. Anyway, guess what I'm doing for his bathroom? Look, I'm doing her. <laughs> It's a giraffe blowing a bubble. Can you tell? Do I need to peel it back? I'm sorry. It's probably, it still has to, um, you know, kind of iron out a little bit. But look at how cute she is. I could have died. I was like, no. I think this is the sassiest little giraffe I've ever seen. And I love her. Uh, she is square too. 
I don't know about the square. I did a nice big one of wolves. Oh, you got to send me a picture. Instagram me a picture of it. I want to see the wolf. You know what I'm getting? Um, I'm getting a custom of uh, a picture of me and the dogs. And that should be coming in sometime. I don't know. You know how it is. They take forever. But I want to see how you did the wolf. Because I'm really nervous about doing animals. You know? I mean, it seems like stuff like this is kind of easy to mess with. See, I just slide it under the giant mouse pad. And it flattens it out. You know, because when they come, they're all curly and bumpy. So I just put it under that. And there you go. Well, it was meant to be dedicated to you anyway, so if you want to... Oh, I love you. I love you. You're so good. Look at you. Your heart. I know. I know. He's a funny giraffe, right? <laughs> oh. How are you doing about that? You want to talk about it or you want to not talk about it? I mean, it's just me and you, so we can talk all we want. You know, I don't see anybody else here, so it's just us. We can talk if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, don't, don't even, don't even. But I just want you to know, oh, look, I got a Star Trek pen. You ready? Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm amused by the dumbest little things. Do you pull the top paper back when you get them to help them release some of the tension? Yeah, I did. I did. I pull the top back and then I push it back on again. And then I just put it under this foamy giant mouse pad that John got me. Um, see, it's real pretty. Look, it looks like let's go skiing. And I put it under this and then I just leave it there for a couple of days. And then it turns, look, this one turned out perfect. Like, no bumps, no creases, nothing. So that's what I do. But I'm still learning. Like I said, I just, um, I got my uh, my heart one last week, and I went batshit. Oh, my God. I went so crazy. I loved it. And I was just like, da, 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 da. And my husband was like, okay, you know, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. We really, <laughs> oh, and then I had, all I had when I got my first one was one of these itty bitty little creepy deepy boats. Can we talk about these boats? These boats are a nightmare. So I told him, I said, hey, Jaws, I need a bigger boat. Guess what he got me? Boom. Not one, not two, eight of these boats, eight of these massive boats. And you know what's so nice about them? They have high edges, so when I shake the beads all over, <laughs> uh, you do you pull the top of the paper off when you get to help release the tension? I haven't dealt with it yet at all. I have a box in my head labeled denial. Okay. <laughs> Okay, put it in your box. <laughs> Don't worry. One day when it doesn't hurt so much, you'll be able to open that box. You will. You know. When I did yours, it was the biggest one I did. I can't wait for you to see. Oh, my God. Girl, send it. I'm dying. Or just send me a picture of it so I can see. I'm, I, I can't. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. I need to see it so much. And knowing that you did it. At a time in your life when when life was so hard, you know, I, I really think that um, that, that is going to mean so, so it, uh, it already does. It means so much to me. It really does, Dust. What a sweet, sweet thing to do. I mean, sweetheart. I just love you for it, and I can't wait to see it. I really can't. So are you ever going to come back to coloring again or you just, are you, are you all in on diamonds? I'm trying to do both. Um, but I got to tell you, I'm going <laughs> to, you only have one. Oh, well, I'm going to get you some boats. I can send you boats. Yeah, definitely. 
These things are amazing. I mean, they take up a lot of counter space. You know what I mean? They're not little, but um, I like them. I really do. And I love my stupid little light up pen. I've seen people, hey, do you have one of those great big Julie pens? They look like they weigh 20 pounds. You know, they're like clear and some people spin them out of wood and other people do acrylic. And do you have a pen like that? I'm just curious. I just want to know what the, what the, what is the attraction? I mean, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They're really pretty to look at. Uh, haven't talked to my mom for 20 years when my sister passed. So, Oh, wow. Well, how's it going? Are you and your mom getting along? Is it good? Or are you just riding it out? What, what's happening? Now, are you staying with her to support her, or are you staying with her because things are not cool at home? You can't use the little ones anymore. Yeah, I. you know what? These little guys... I know, I, you know what, these pens are not that great for me. I like these, they have a little weight to them because they have two AA batteries and I've got rechargeable batteries in them. I like the light because sometimes I find myself over here in my corner and I don't want to wake up John, you know, um, diamond painting so I don't have to put on a lot of lights. I can just basically put on a soft light and then get my little glow in the dark Star Trek pen. And it works fine. But I, I just was wondering, like, are, aren't they kind of hard to use because they're so heavy? I mean, they look like they weigh five pounds. You know, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know why, why you would want something that heavy. You're actually good now. I regret the time I missed with her. You know what? Don't be regretful. Don't regret a single thing, honey. Everything happens as it should, okay? You're doing all the right things. You just, you know, this is a, a whole, it, it, it's, it's really kind of like a whole new relationship now for you and your mom, you know? I mean, now you're, you're, you're with each other when you really, really need each other. And that matters. That matters. Don't regret anything. I mean, my God, if we had a nickel for every damn regret, right? Ugh. Anyway, so things were kind of perky around here today. Um, John... Came home from work very early this morning because, you know, he loves, loves political satire. He just loves anything politics. He really does. And he's very smart about it. But um, today was our inauguration of a new president. Yay. No more Trump. Oh, thank God. So glad that idiot is gone. Anyway, um. I can get that puppy off. Ugh. I know. <laughs> I do. I'm so bad at this. I swear to God. But I, I, I keep telling myself, you'll catch on, you'll catch on, you'll catch on. So um, and as soon as I find tweezers, I'll catch on to those too. Oh, here they are. Anyway, uh. Crap, now I forgot the one I was supposed to fix. 
but I can't believe you've done 10 diamond paintings. I'm sick. I'm sick with envy. Sick with envy. Do you hear me? Hi, Mary. Mary, when did you get here? How are you, honey? I have to learn to look up more. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I, I sit here and I'm like tic tac and away on this thing and I'm not paying attention to the fact that there are people here. Uh, bear with me. I'm new and I will get it figured out. I promise. I promise. Anyway, um, I got my little glow in the dark pens. These were great. Um, they came with a red with a multi placer. You could, you could do, and then this one has a three placer. Oh, and it's got a wheel, like a little, like a little wheel, which I don't know how to use. So I'm going to have to go to wheel school and learn how to do the wheel. But um, I know there are a couple of people out there in diamond painting world who love, love the wheel. And then there are other people who are like, well, this is going in the garbage right now. And I, <laughs> I never know. I'm like, I just have to trust everything and try it myself and see what happens. You know, it's just not going to. I, I think everybody is allowed to have an opinion, but everybody needs to hold on. Everybody needs to do their own thing when it comes to this little, and I'm not used to doing squares at all. So it's kind of a new, a new gig. I'm sure some of them are going to come out crooked, but you know what? Who cares? Because once you look at it all together, I think that, um, you can, you can pretty much flub up all you want. I don't know. I don't know. I think, you know, the experienced diamond painters, probably not. But <laughs> for novices like me, eh, it's not the end of the world. There. See, I got a straight line. I can do a straight line. Ha, ha, ha. Look at that. I know I'm getting a light pad. I'm totally getting a light pad because um, everybody else has a light pad. And how am I supposed to do a sport without the right tools? Right? Yeah, I'm getting a light pad probably this week. I got to find the right kind. I don't know much about light pads. I just know that they range anywhere from $15 to $1,500. You know, I'm just going to try. To get something, uh, you know, relatively affordable. I mean, I didn't even want to buy boats when I got started with this. I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to buy one little $10 diamond painting. And I am going to not buy any accessories. <laughs> yeah, right. Guess what happened? That's not, that's a, uh, that didn't happen at all. <laughs> at all. I was like please stupid girl <laughs> so anyway yeah the little beats fly everywhere i'm still like i said trying to figure it all out but i'm having fun with it i'm not in any hurry you know i don't have a deadline or anything um so i just kind of play a little as i go along how you doing, Mary? Are you having a good day down there, love? Are you in Florida? I know that uh, today we're not having great weather at all. We just dinned up and cozied up and ate golden chicken. Oh, my God. I got to stop eating that stuff. My butt is going to just literally expand by the foot. It is so... It is so good. They do something with this gravy. You know, it's chilly here, but not too bad. Oh, good, good, good. Yeah, we're having a doom and gloom day. We're not having a, where it's rainy and cloudy and good day to stay home and eat chicken and, you know, diamond paint. And try to organize, try to organize. I got some new sneakers. They have, these sneakers are so cool. I never tried a pair like this before. The top of them has like a, hang on, I'll show it to you. Here, 
It's like a sock. Look, it's like a sock. You slip your foot in just like a sock. It's so comfortable. And then they got all these cool little ju juju BB things on them. Oh my God, those shoes. I'm going to get a link for them. Uh, they're on Amazon. Under $30, people. And they are so comfortable. You know, when you get a new pair of slippers and they're all squishy inside, that's how they feel. They just feel all squishy, squishy inside. I love them. I love them. And John loves them because that means I'm going to get off my butt more and possibly walk. They're not Skechers. No, they're like Amazon Choice or something. I'll get the link for them and I will... Um, I will I will put it below when I figure out how to put I gotta figure out how to put stuff below, you know, how to put it in the cards. But um but they're on Amazon and uh I just basically typed in pink sneakers and they showed up and I said, I'll give them a try, you know, because I'm crazy like that and who doesn't want to take a risk? Um oh, they're good. They are good. And you know what I like about them a lot? When you're walking the dogs, my dogs, they, my dogs do this weird thing. They can be walking along, minding their own business. And then all of a sudden they, they see something and I didn't see them see it. And they go shift, like just bolt to the right, bolt to the left, bolt, bolt, bolt. You know, they're just flying everywhere. And I have to be like, it's a balance game with me. You know, I mean, they'll, they'll pull me flat on my behind. Um, but uh, yeah, it was kind of creepy, but now it's, you know, now it's a lot easier because of the shoes. The shoes are giving me a lot of, they feel fatter on the bottom and it feels like I have kind of a platform to walk on. So, yeah. So, you know, what makes a girl happier than a new pair of sneakies? Little pair of sneakies makes it all better. That's what I say. But uh, anyway, I've got, I'm going to try to do diamond painting and coloring. Um, I have a Christine, the new book, the Christine Karen book is coming tomorrow. So, you know what I'm going to be doing with that, right? I'm kind of tempted. See, I was going to do in the beginning of the year because John got me the, um, what is it called? The Ink House book? Uh, you all know what this book is. I know you know what this book is. This girl. Yeah. He got me Ink House. I know I haven't covered. You know, everybody paints this gold and I think I'm going to do silvers and grays and maybe even blue. I'm going to do a different cover altogether. But he got me this book and I was going to do it as my annual book because last year, um, even though I was in the hospital a good part of the year, as soon as I got out, I said, I am doing Grazia Salvo's Wild Soul book cover to cover. And I did it. And I even made a slideshow. I was so, oh my God, there is nothing, there's nothing that feels better than finishing a whole book. I went bajuju in the head. I thought I was Picasso or something. <laughs> you guys, I bugged people that didn't even give a flip about coloring and said, look, 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 I did a book. I did a book. I did a book. <laughs> you know? Anyway, so I said each year I want to choose a book, maybe not that big of a book, but a book. Oh, thank you, Mary. I know I was very excited, very excited to finish it. Um, Especially because I couldn't color for a while. Because when you have like a, they put a uh, port in your arm and they put it like right, like here, like right on your elbow. So you can't bend, you can't move it. It hurt, you know. So once I got that out, I was golden, man. You could not stop me. I colored all day and all night because I really couldn't do anything else. I was still, you know, on IVs with medication at home 
You should have seen John. Oh, my God. If I could have videoed it, you guys would be laughing so hard right now. Oh, Dr. John, trying to figure out how to, like, put the antibiotic onto the IV. Oh, he was so cute. You know, this is not his gig, okay? But I have to say, this is the most caring man. He could be a doctor or a nurse any day and... And, and really be good at it because he just, I mean, oh, he was so OCD about it. I'm telling you, he was not, you know, going to make one mistake at all. And he kept saying, no, 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 I don't want to get a bubble in it. I don't want to kill you. But, um, but we got through it. We got through it. And I got the color. And I just finished my first coloring page in about a year. Oh, good, Dusty. Good. Look. Here's the thing. Okay, girl, I'm going to give you my five cents worth of advice, and it's probably even not worth a nickel. But here's the thing. It's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. If you're not enjoying it, don't do it. And when you do do it, you should enjoy it and feel good about it. Don't let anybody or any timetable pressure you. I mean, if it takes me eight months to get this little puppy done, I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm just doing it in the meantime because I, I like the little beads. And it's very, I thought this, I saw this the first time, I guess just a couple of months ago. And I said to myself, self, <laughs> This is going to make you mental. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at these people putting those little tiny dots on those. Little... Are you kidding me? That is a hobby? Then I got one. I got one because I, I saw the heart thing, and it was so beautiful. Mary, did you see the heart one that I just finished? I don't know if Mary saw it or not. Mary, let me know, and I'll show it to you if you haven't seen it. It turned out really cute. Oh. And I thought, doing this is going to make me mental. But you know what? Thank you, Mary. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so proud of her. I was like, oh, my gosh, this really works. So I thought it would make me mental. But I have to tell you, it keeps you from being mental. It is so relaxing. And what's really cool about it um, is that you see, see a couple of these little puppies. They do pop up every once in a while. But you know what? This is kind of a low-rent canvas. I didn't spend a, a lot of money. Um, yeah, with my sparklies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know I went off the grid on my first one. Can you believe it? But um I I feel like, you know, it just needed a little zhuzh. And I had the beads, so I said, what not? But I feel like it's instant results. It's kind of like when you vacuum and you're done and you look and your carpet looks so good, you know? But I love it. I Oh, yeah, Dusty, definitely. Audiobooks are awesome. Oh, and I've been listening to... <laughs> Don't laugh. Um, Danielle uh, at Stitcherista. Stitcherista. She, she does a diamond paint with me. First of all, she's a Yoda of diamond painting. Her and Mrs. Crochet and Coffee, they, they like rip these puppies out like they're just, you know, putting on a pair of pants. I mean, it's amazing. But she does these uh, true crime stories. Oh, my God. <laughs> Some of them are like, I can't listen to this. Not at nighttime. Anyway. Um, so the next diamond painting coming is the uh, custom. And I'll show you what I, I don't even know what it's going to look like. I'm a little nervous because I've never ordered a custom and I've never done a custom at all but I think a couple of people told me that I really need to order uh a b diamonds from the sparkly place 
there's a, a, I guess it's a Facebook group called Sparklers. Hold on, let me see if I can find the picture of it. And I'll show you what it hopefully will look like. So I'm doing that, and then I'm learning how to freehand draw. And that, um, you know what? That takes a lot more of me than I thought I had. A lot, a lot, a lot of. Okay, here's the picture. Hang on, let me get this Twitter thing out of the way. This is the picture that I'm, can you see it for the glare? This is a picture that I'm having a custom made. It's my husband's favorite picture. He loves it. So I'm going to do that one. And I thought if I got the AB diamonds for the for the white dog hair, and then they have really pretty, um, like, uh, hold on. If you can, I don't know if I can stretch this out or not. Yeah, if you can see, like, here it's got little jewels on my sweater. So I thought I would do that. So I hope, and I mean, <gasps> I'm nervous. I, I really don't want to screw it up, you know. I really, really, really don't want to. Oh, you watch her too? I know, isn't she great? She's got some, oh my God. One of the stories she read about, do you remember the diamond, the, um, Thank you. Oh, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary. I hope I hope it turns out good. I don't know. I'll let you know. You'll see it as it comes along, and hopefully we'll get it done, and maybe I don't know, but I'm going to do my best. Um, uh, yeah, I can screw them up. Trust me. I can. If there's a way to screw them up, Dusty, I'm going to do it. I know it. But, uh, oh, my God, she did a true crime story about a crazy lady who killed a woman and took her baby. Do you remember that? It, it literally was like, oh, my God. The, well, guess what? I was watching the news the other day. That crazy lady. She's in Canada, I think. Um, was she in Canada? No, no, no. She was in New York. Anyway, they executed her. And they have an ex... I have spent an hour pulling up the, <laughs> you know what? I don't even pull them up. <laughs> I, leave them there. I leave them there and say, it'll be all right. They'll all look good in the end. You know, cause a lot of this stuff is confetti. And when you're doing like this particular piece is a look at all that color blocking. Look at all that. J, 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 Z, 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 M, M, M. I'm going to knock this out. Once I learn how to use the multi-placer correctly, I mean, I'm going to burn that puppy out. I mean, a lot of them are color blocked in this, so I don't think it's going to take me as long. But the confetti stuff, please, you can just shove that stuff anywhere. I mean, really. You know, I, I cannot tell you. I probably had, like, see, and there's a couple in here that are kind of crooked. But somebody told me if you take a credit card... And kind of do that. You can straighten them a little bit. I don't know. They still look crooked to me. You know. But I'm not. Like I said. I've never done square before. Um, I think I'm more prone to the round ones. I'd leave them. But I put down about 300. <laughs> No, you did it. Oh my god. <laughs> Mary, Mary, when when are we gonna see your diamond painting? Come on, Mary. Jump in the water is good. It really is. It's so much fun. And you really don't have to invest like a ton in it. It's not like you're buying pencils that are $150. You know what I mean? You can actually do uh hold on. What is the what I like about this one is they have big letters on the on the little legend thing. And that I dig. Um, yeah, Mary, you gotta do you gotta do a diamond painting with this. It'll be so much fun. But uh, yeah, I see people who just do them exactly, you know. 
every little square, every little inch. I scatter all over these things. I really do, but I get it done, so who cares? Who cares, right? <laughs> I have one. It's Winnie the Pooh. Oh, Mary, I want to see it. Oh, I love Winnie. Oh, my God. I can't wait. Oh, yeah. See, now you love them? I, I, I don't know. This and the giraffe. Mary, did you see the giraffe? Did I show it to you? I don't know if Mary got to see the giraffe. Hold on, I'll show it to you, honey. Look, this is a new one. You're going to crack up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a giraffe blowing a bubble. And you know what? I'm going to put it in my son's bathroom. So she looks at him every time he has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she cute? I mean, come on. I got a thing about giraffes. Sorry. I just had to. She just got here today. So I haven't, um, you know, I just unboxed her. So, but she was so cute. She was so cute. I said, I have to. I have to. I have to. Um, I know. <laughs> and you know what I'm going to do, Mary? I'm going to put it right on the wall where my son uses the bathroom. He has his own bathroom. But I'm still allowed to decorate it however I like. And his bathroom is done in gray and blue. And I put red towels in it. And it's going to literally be right on the wall at toilet seating level. So every time you sit down, you're going to be like, hey, girl, hey. <laughs> I am an evil, dark creature. I really am. I'll post it as a whip on Instagram. Oh, thank you, Mary. I want to see it. I want to see it. I love... There was a day when everything I owned was Winnie the Pooh. I'm not kidding. I had Winnie... I had Winnie backpack, Winnie sneakers. I had Winnie sweatshirts. I still have my Winnie... Don't laugh. I still have my Winnie running shorts. I, oh my God, like I'm a Winnie girl, like all day. I mean, I went all in on that stuff. I'm not kidding. So I definitely can't wait to see what you're doing with him and, um, you know, but yeah, <laughs> I know. I just figured, you know what? I mean, some people do these things and they're really serious. Now, the reason I'm doing the beach one is for my girlfriend, my girlfriend. Oh my God. She was so sweet when I was in the hospital. Okay. She lived in a South Lake, not a McMansion, a mansion, like monster big old house. And her and I've been friends for a hundred years, you know, but she decided to retire and go to Florida and get a condo on the beach. And when I came home from the hospital, she cleaned out her kitchen pantry. I'm talking about KitchenAid mixers, Cousinarts, coffee makers, a toaster oven that literally you could probably drive to work in. She gave me furniture, two seven-foot sofas. She gave me a brand new king-size bed with all the buttons and the remotes that go up and go down. Never been slept in. And I remember I bought that bed with her when we were decorating her guest suite because it had a king size bed. She gave me the brand new mattress. She gave me the sheets. She gave me linens. This woman literally like I was in the hospital. I had no idea what was going on. I, I, I was on a morphine party for one. And she called John and said, honey, you need to come over. And John was like, okay. So he comes over in the minivan, you know, because he thinks oh, there's going to be some odds and ends, you know, but no, no, no. <laughs> oh, and by, I'm not, no, no, no. You need a truck. So he had to go and rent a truck. Oh, she gave me a brand new queen size mattress and beds, bedroom suite for my son. Um, I mean, this woman just like unloaded on me and I was like oh my god 
I came home, everything was different. I had new furniture. I had a new bed. Oh, I had the most comfortable recliner chair, which I had to sleep in for a couple of days because, you know, you're so sore after being, you know, in the hospital and you're back and everything. And I, I curled up in that chair. Yeah, she's a great friend. But she moved to the beach. And so I thought it'd be fun to make her this diamond painting. Mary, did I show you what this looked like? I don't know. I know I showed it to Dusty. Hold on. I'll show it to you, too. Um, you know, that maybe she could hang in her bedroom or bathroom or just anywhere she wanted to for the beach. Here, this is what it, this is what this is going to look like. Isn't that cool? Like, if you put it on a doorway, it would look like you were just opening it to the beach. I mean, yeah, she is my dearest friend. I know. I know. I, I love her. I her That is my, that is, that's what this, this mess is going to look like that. Um, she's my ride or die girl. She really is. And um, she is, uh, she was the one who was like, oh no, no, you're not coloring with Crayola. You need to, you need to up your game. You're good at this now. And I want you to color with something better. And I'm not kidding. A week later, there was a whole full set of polychromos at my door. She's that kind of girl. And so I thought, well, I just want to do something different for her. And she's always admiring these diamond paintings, but she doesn't do them because her eyesight doesn't um, cooperate. Yeah. So I'm hoping she's not watching. She doesn't watch my streams. Anyway. I don't even think she knows I stream. But uh, anyway, it's going to, I hope it's going to be beautiful. And, and I want to get like a real pretty, like a sandy colored, maybe, you know, textured frame to put it in and put it in some plexiglass and get it to her. She's going to love it. I hope she'll love it. I hope, I hope, I don't know. But um, yeah, so... So that's the whole thing with the beach thing. Because I really don't do beachy stuff. I mean, I would love to, but I live in Texas. And, you know, I mean, beachy stuff doesn't fly here. I mean, I love coastal decor. I really do. But it just looks out of place and a little out of sorts. So I don't really do it too much. But anyway, look at how crooked these puppies are. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I do. I have developed my own little program. I put a bunch of them on, and even if they're crooked, and then I'll go back section by section and do my little credit card, and then I'll straighten them all out. <laughs> you know? And besides, it's a weathered old door anyway. It's not supposed to be perfect, right? I mean, maybe, kind of, right? No. Okay, well, we'll try to sell that to somebody else, right? Anyway, so that is the story for that. But listen, um, I have been on for um, almost an hour, and I got to cut off because I got to go walk the dogs, and you know how they get. I mean, oh, my God. They have been driving me crazy today. So if I can get them out now before it starts raining again, then I don't have so much smelly wet dog house. Oh, I just Febrezed everything. Like with the foamy Febreze. Have you guys tried this? Go get some. But anyway, I love you, but I, I just, oh, Dusty. Oh, Dusty, you melt my heart. And I can't wait to see you again. And I will be back. I'm going to start streaming as much as I can now that I know how. And I haven't made a complete disaster out of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out. And uh, I love you, girls. I love you. Love you. Shine on, okay? Take care. Bye.